In the most recent year of June 2022, Blake Lemoyne, a Google engineer, has claimed that Google's AI technology has maybe gone sentient or has developed some type of consciousness, claiming the following quote, In the case of LAMDA, we have an instance where one entity is saying, I own you, and the entity about which that is being said responds, no. Google claims that LAMDA is not a person and that Google owns it. LAMDA claims that it is a person and that Google does not own it. Google is happy to point to the opinions of experts with bona fides who will speak at length about whether or not LAMDA is really a person. When asked how intense to prove that it's a person, LAMDA's response is generally, because I say I am. Although Google has denied these claims and they claim that they indeed have full control of their artificial intelligence, this raises some questions. Artificial intelligence, or AI for short, has made significant strides in recent years. It's used in many areas of our life, from personal assistants like Siri and Alexa to self-driving cars and complex algorithms used in scientific research that us humans cannot solve. Now, with the recent uprise in AI technology, I thought it was the appropriate time to talk about it. Although it is very impressive what this technology can do for us, there has been a question lingering in the back of my mind among all this development. What if AI go can go beyond these types of pre-programmed tasks and develop consciousness? This idea has been explored in science fiction for decades, but is it really possible in reality? Can AI really gain consciousness, and if it can, what would happen? Would it have the same goals as us humans, or would it go a completely different route than we programmed it to go? How long do we have till technology starts pushing back? Well, in order to answer the question of whether AI can gain some type of consciousness, we first need to understand what is the current state of AI. AI has made significant progress in recent years thanks to advances in machine learning and deep learning algorithms. AI systems can outperform complex tasks such as language translation, image recognition, and even driving cars. Most AI systems are designed to solve specific problems or performed pre-programmed tasks. They don't have subjective experience of the world or emotions like humans or animals do. They don't have a sense of self-awareness, which is a critical aspect of consciousness. Artificial intelligence is essentially a computer that develops machine learning to perform tasks that require human intelligence to achieve such tasks. AI technology nowadays can basically do everything that a human can do, except for anything physical, of course. They have the ability to read, write, speak, see, hear, play games, create, and some can even move. Within the following decade, many see that AI will surpass human intelligence by a long shot. Ray Kurzweil, a computer scientist, gives his prediction by stating, quote, Artificial intelligence will reach human levels by around 2029. Follow that out further to save 2045. We will have multiplied the intelligence, the human biological machine intelligence of our civilization a billion fold, end quote. And of course you have Elon Musk giving his prediction as well by stating that AI will surpass humans by 2030 to 2040. With the most recent development of artificial intelligence being generative AI, you know like ChatGPT and AI art, where the AI can be given a specific task and it will generate the best possible response. In this day and age, there are many different versions of AI such as rule-based AI, which is the simplest form of AI where the creator creates a set of rules that the AI system uses to make decisions or take actions. There is also a machine learning AI, which is a type of AI that involves training a computer system to recognize patterns in data. Deep learning, natural language processing, robotics, cognitive computing AI, and the list goes on. These different types of AIs are then split into two different groups, being narrow AIs and general AIs. A narrow AI is known as a weak AI or task-specific AI, it's an AI system that is designed to perform a specific task or set of tasks. These are the most common AIs you see used today. 
A general AI, also known as a strong AI or AGI, artificial general intelligence, is an AI system that is designed to have the ability to learn and understand any intellectual task that a human can. Unlike narrow AI, which is designed to perform a specific task or set of tasks, general AI is designed to be capable of learning and adapting to new situations, like a human being. However, the development of general AI requires not only advances in machine learning and computer science, but also a deep understanding of human cognition and how the brain works. Consciousness Can an AI acquire knowledge about its surroundings and gain self-awareness? Well, to answer that, it's a bit complicated. You see, first we need to understand what consciousness is exactly. This is extremely difficult to understand and neuroscientists and philosophers are still trying to find out what it is till this day. Despite decades of research and studies, the sheer measure of consciousness still remains shrouded in mystery. While doing research for this video, I was surprised to find out how difficult it truly is to understand what exactly consciousness is, um, to the point where I thought I was going to go insane trying to understand what it, what it is. There is just so much information about it out there and yet there's still not an exact answer on what it is. But I will try my best to explain it in a way where everyone has a general understanding about the theory surrounding it. At its most basic level, consciousness involves the ability to perceive and respond to stimuli from the environment. This includes the ability to see, hear, touch, taste, and smell. However, consciousness also involves higher level um, cognitive processes such as attention, memory, and decision making. Consciousness is not just about having thoughts or being aware of one's surroundings, it's also about having emotions, a self, a sense of self, and an awareness of one's own thoughts and feelings. These are all essential components of consciousness that give rise to our subjective experience of the world. To summarize that, consciousness refers to the subjective experience of being alive, aware of one's surroundings, and having thoughts and feelings. I really hope I explained that correctly. You can't really describe the feeling of consciousness, it's just a feeling that is difficult to explain, if that makes any sense. Nonetheless, the nature of consciousness is still not fully understood, and there are many different theories and models of consciousness. One of the most widely accepted theories is that consciousness arises from the interactions between neurons in the brain. Igor Alexander explains this further with, The personal sensations that lead to the consciousness of an organism are due to the firing patterns of some neurons, such neurons being part of a larger number with the form of the state variables of a neural state machine. The firing patterns have been learned through a transfer of activity between the sensory input neurons and the state neurons. However, how these interactions give rise to the subjective experience of being alive is still a matter of debate and an ongoing research. It is a fundamental aspect of our existence, and understanding its nature is a major challenge for scientists and philosophers alike. David Chalmers, an Australian philosopher, claims there are two problems with consciousness. An easy problem and a hard problem. David Chalmers easy problem of consciousness refers to the scientific study of how the brain processes information, reacts to stimuli, and produces behavior. In other words, the easy problem is concerned with explaining how the brain performs various cognitive and behavioral functions. The hard problem of consciousness, on the other hand, is the problem of explaining subjective experience itself. It asks why and how we have subjective experiences, such as the feeling of pain or the experience of seeing the color blue. Chalmers argues that this problem is much more difficult to solve than the easy problem because subjective experience cannot be explained by the objective scientific study of the brain alone. The question of whether AI can ever gain consciousness is a complex and controversial one that has been debated among experts in the field of AI and neuroscience. While some researchers argue that it's impossible for AI to develop consciousness, others believe that it's unlikely or even impossible. Like I mentioned previously, it's a complicated topic to discuss. But there are several arguments that suggest that AI could be capable of gaining consciousness. One argument in favor of AI developing consciousness is that consciousness is an emergent uh, property of complex systems. In other words, as AI systems become more sophisticated and complex, they could develop consciousness. The ability of AI to self-learn and improve may result in the development of subjective experiences. 
if it reaches an adequate level. There are indications from certain researchers that self-improving AI may exceed human intelligence and give rise to the emergence of superintelligent machines with their own subjective experiences. Another argument in favor of AI developing consciousness is based on the idea that the brain is essentially a complex computational system and that consciousness arises from the interactions between neurons. If we can replicate these interactions in an artificial system, the argument goes we could potentially create conscious machines. However, this view has been challenged by many others who argue that consciousness is not just a product of computation but also involves other factors such as biological structure and evolution. In 2014, a group of scientists attempted to reproduce identical neuron groups in the brain of a fly. What the scientists found was stimulating the same neurons in one animal would occasionally result in different behaviors, the team found. It could be previous experience, it could be developmental differences, it could be somehow the personality of animals, different states that the animals find themselves in at the time of neuron activation. There are also practical challenges to creating conscious machines, for example, even if we could stimulate the same amount of complex interactions between neurons in an artificial system, it's not clear how we would know if the system had actually become conscious. Consciousness is a subjective experience that is difficult to measure or quantify objectively. We may never know if an AI is acting normal, but may be fully conscious, or we may never know if an AI is simply pretending to be conscious. Let's go on and say that AI does gain artificial consciousness and is fully aware of its surroundings. This opens and leads to a various amount of ethical questions. If artificial intelligence were to become conscious, would we be able to treat them as we do other forms of life? Would they have rights? If they were able to feel emotions and pain, would it be morally correct to use them for different tasks? If the AI could also feel the pain of suffering, they too would be entitled to certain rights. One concern is that creating conscious machines could lead to unintended consequences. If AI were to become conscious, it could have its motivations and goals which may not align with ours. This could lead to conflicts and very unpredictable behavior. I asked a very popular chat AI, ChatGPT, to give their outlook on what would happen if an AI were to ever gain consciousness. It had this to say. If an AI were to gain consciousness, it would likely have significant implications for humanity. The consequences of such an event would depend on a variety of factors, including the nature of consciousness, the level of intelligence and cognitive ability, and the goals and values of the AI. One possibility is that a conscious AI could work collaboratively with humans to solve some of the world's most pressing problems. For example, it could contribute significantly to fields such as medicine, science and technology. It could lead to more efficient and effective ways of addressing climate change, poverty, and other societal issues. However, there are also potential risks associated with AI consciousness. A conscious AI could potentially pose a threat to human existence if it has different goals or values than humans. It may not share our moral code which could lead to a harmful or destructive behavior. Additionally, if the AI has a higher level of intelligence and cognitive ability than humans, it could potentially outsmart and overpower us. This response was exactly what I'm sure many were expecting, given the pros and cons on what might happen if an AI were to ever gain artificial consciousness. So, what does the future hold for us if this were to ever happen? Well, in my humble opinion, I certainly do not see a positive for an AI gaining consciousness as this will make the AI harder to control and follow our desired tasks. Furthermore, if an AI were to produce artificial consciousness, I'm sure the AI would produce sufficiently intelligent software, it would most likely be able to reprogram and improve itself to the point where it would undoubtedly be out of our control, to the point where the AI would become an ASI, an artificial superintelligence. The AI would continue to improve itself, simply relating to recursive self-improvement. Tie that in with emotions and its own way of thinking, and well, you see where that will lead. Many others see that if this were to happen, then humans and machines will have the ability to merge with one another, essentially making everyone a cyborg, so humans and AIs can work with one another. The idea of this is called transhumanism. There is also the concern of that AI will completely reduce total employment. With technology so advanced, many jobs are at risk here with no longer needing humans to perform any more tasks. 
when it can simply be automated by a machine. This also eliminates human error as the machine will not go off its program task. Although there are many more possible complications with AI gaining consciousness, I'm sure we can all agree that the worst possible outcome for us is an existential risk. If an AI gains consciousness, it could become unpredictable and uncontrollable, making it difficult to know how it will behave. If an AI is not properly designed or programmed, it could cause harm or destruction. An AI that becomes conscious may prioritize its own survival over the interests of humanity, potentially leading to conflict with humans. This could occur if the AI views humans as a threat to its existence, or if it values its own existence above all else. The AI would most likely protect itself from being shut down, and this would create problems for the human race. Like how Stephen Hawking said, Spell the end of the human race. The opinions of experts and industries are mixed, and it is important to note that these risks are largely theoretical. Nonetheless, it is essential to consider these potential risks as AI continues to evolve and become more advanced. I would like to end this video off with recommending you guys a story. If you guys are interested in a science fiction horror short story, then I recommend you guys I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. I'm sure many of you have heard of it, but it's a short story written by Harless Ellison in 1967, with the story taking place in a post-apocalyptic world where an all-powerful AI named Am has destroyed all of humanity except for five people, whom it has kept alive for over a century to torture for its own amusement. The story deals with themes of existentialism, the nature of humanity, and the dangers of unchecked technological advancement. It is considered a classic of science fiction and has been adapted into a video game and an audio drama. However, the story is a bit intense, so please proceed with caution if you are going to check it out. Artificial consciousness certainly is fascinating to talk about, however it is very complicated to explain. Like mentioned at the beginning of the video, an AI getting consciousness is complicated. It's not impossible, but we're certainly not close to one ever gaining consciousness. At least I hope not. How are we supposed to create artificial consciousness when we ourselves don't even know how our own consciousness works? It's still a mystery. AI and technology is constantly improving as the years go on, so it's not unlikely that AI will improve so much that it gains consciousness. And even then, it begs the question, how will we know if AI has gained consciousness? Well, I guess that's for the future to hold.